I'm Shelly Turner with the Builder All team. In this video, we're going to continue building our fruit shop website by adding two more sections. So I'm going to go to the original site and we've added all of this. So now we need to add this red section here and then the contact us section here. So let's go ahead and start working first on this red section. So we'll go back to our HTML editor and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to do this really, really easy. I'm just going to go ahead and click edit row and then I'm going to click add row and it adds a brand new row right underneath where I was just at and if I scroll down to it and use my little square you can see that it creates a row with two columns. Let's take a look at the original and it looks like we need two columns because we have one area here and one area here. So let's go ahead and create that by going into our HTML editor. And the first thing we should do to make this work is we definitely need to change it to the red color. So I'm going to go to edit row and then background and color. And remember we saved that color in our notepad. So I'm going to go over to my notepad and I'm going to scroll all the way to the top. And there's that color that we originally used for the header. So I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go to more colors and paste that in there and uh, and that makes me change my color and remember I use the full so that it'll go all the way across the screen so now that we've changed the color I can go in and add that text so I'm going to go ahead and add the text but before I do I want to show you something on the original the original has this text that's this size and then it has another type of text right below it so I think what I'm going to do is use two element grids and do two different texts in the element grids. So let me go back to the editor and I'm going to right click on that column and add an element grid and add an element grid. And now I'm able to put one text box in this one and one text box in this one. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to plus and text. And here's our large text that looks like it was the size of the text that was on the top so I'm going to click that and I'm going to delete everything but that first word so it's not so big and now I can grab it and actually pull it down so let's click outside of it and then click inside of it again and we'll put that inside of there and then we need another text box for the second element grid so I'm going to go plus and text and I think that was probably the body medium so I'm going to grab that and it dumped it right there you can barely see it let me get rid of this box right here and it is outlined right there, so I'm going to take it and drag it, and we can see it a lot better right there. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there, and now I can put my words in there for that particular section. So I'm going to go back to my notepad, and I've copied all of the words in there to kind of help out with finishing this up. I'm going to highlight here, liked our service, and copy it. And then down here, I'm going to double click to get into it, and triple click to highlight everything, and then paste. And then in here, I go back to my notepad and go to this text right underneath it and copy it and then double click to go into it and triple click to highlight all of it and then paste. Then we can start to kind of resize. I don't want to quite resize it yet because I've got something else to put in here and that is a button. So let's look at the original and it looks like it's a blue button but I think I want the green because I like the green better. So I'm going to go back to my HTML editor. And I'm just going to go all the way up here to where this green button is and I'm going to copy it and paste it. And now I've got an exact copy of that button so I can kind of pull it down here where I want it. And put it right in there just like that. That button says liked our service. So I can go in here and go back to the editor and maybe change the text. So I can type in let us know how we're doing and confirm. And it's quite a big button here. I can stretch it out a little bit. There we go. And we, we might could set that button to go to like email or something like that. So we can go to right click and action. And here's all the things we can do. We can do no action. We can send it to a page in our website. If this was part of the mobile site, we can send it to a phone number. Uh, we can send it to a pop-up, a video, push notifications. We can send it to email. That's what I would do with this one is send it to email so that you could uh, automatically pop up an email and they can send you an email 
to show to tell you how you're doing but you could also send it to a web address you could add a document here an anchor point or even uh, add a payment uh, option so that's what you can do with that button but we're just going to leave it like that and now we can start resizing everything now that we got all the elements in so this one's pretty big i don't really need to resize that that uh, element grid too much this one i can move up a little bit and then resize that element grid like that to kind of conserve space and then on the column i can resize it to conserve space as well and now i can make sure to put this in the middle and then i can right click it and center the element so it puts it right exactly in the center of that column okay so that is that red stripe which is very easy to do so now let's take a look at the next section so i'm going to look at the sample and it's a white area and it looks like it's got just one column right all the way across one column and i can put one element two elements three elements our contact form is going to be an element all of itself so let's go ahead and do that right now so i'm going to go back to the editor and i'm going to again add a row so i'm going to click on edit row and then add a row and that puts in just a white row for me and if you remember if i click out outside of it and then look in it again with my square, it adds two columns. And remember we just said a minute ago that all we really need is one column. So I'm gonna go ahead and just right click the second column and delete it. And now I should have just one column going all the way across. And we said that there was three elements. So I'm gonna right click and go to the add element grid and click it one, two, three times. And that gives me three element grids in there to work with. So now let's take a look at the text and the text says contact us and it's in a, a kind of a medium gray and then some uh, a paragraph underneath that and then the contact form so i'm going to go ahead and do the contact us first i'm going to go to plus and text and i'm going to choose that white text and i'm going to click it and now i'm going to go ahead and drag it onto that top element but first, before I do anything, it's really, really hard to see it because the text is white. So I'm going to triple click it and I'm going to go ahead and change it to gray. So there's a dark gray right there, I think. Yep, that's good. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of those words in there to just kind of make it smaller and fit in the space. So there we go. That is in the first grid. And then we need smaller text that's gray in the second grid. So I'm going to go to text. And I'm going to choose my white body medium and I'm going to click that and again it dropped it in here and it's white so it's going to be hard to see but I'm going to drop it down in that second element grid I'm going to triple click in it and I'm going to choose that medium gray again and now I'll be able to see that text and then the last one was the contact form and this one I'm going to have to make the element grid bigger because it's definitely a larger size okay so I need to go ahead and stretch it out a bit and then I'm going to go to plus and contact and we've got several options here uh, I can choose any of these options that I want I think I'm going to choose this one right here I'm going to click on it and it adds the form into our page and now I've got plenty of room to be able to kind of expand it a little bit and make sure that it's the size that I want it so now let's go ahead and start editing and make sure that it looks like what it needs to look like so first off this top one I definitely need to click in there and center great and now I'm going to go to my trusty notepad and I'm going to highlight and copy contact us I'm going to click inside of there and triple click and then paste and then I'm going to do the next one which is just the smaller text and I'm going to find the paragraph here I'm going to copy that and then double click in there and then triple click in there and paste I think I'm going to make that just one paragraph, just like this. Great. And now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of stretch it out a bit. There we go. And now I can start shrinking my elements. So this one right here, I don't really have to shrink very much because it fits the size. This one, I'm going to bring it up a little bit and then shrink the element grid. And I'm also going to right click it and center it. And let me see if these were centered. Yep, the, the actual words were centered. So we're going to click inside of there and center it in there as well and then for the contact form I'm going to bring that up as far as I want it up and then go ahead and shrink the element grid and now that one's done so I'm going to go ahead and click save and save again 
And now let's take a look at what this is looking like. So I'm going to go into my dashboard and I'm going to check out my site by publishing. So first I need to go into the dashboard and then I go into builders, drag and dot responsive, and my responsive sites. And this is a list of all of my websites that I've built so far. To publish it so that you can look at the public version, all you need to do is go to more options and then mine says unpublish because I've already published, but you click publish and that will publish your site so that it's available for other people to look at on the internet. So I've already published mine. And then all I have to do to take a look at the live version is to actually click the name of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this and it will take me to the live version. So I'm on the live version of the Fruit Shop website and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and we'll take a look at how it's looking so far. So everything looks great. These are the two sections that we just added and now we've got one more section and that is the footer and we'll do that in the next video.